131 build is here! I came here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. That sounds so good! Torque and torque! Work out, bro. <laughs> We're torqued the f out. Torque Custom Cycle Shop. Today we're gonna be doing, well, hopefully we're gonna be doing, we might get to it 100%, but we're gonna be taking apart the uh, motor right now. The plan is to do a stage four kit, the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle stage four kit from a 117 uh, that could go up to a 120 or 131. So this bike is gonna be having the 131 here. Um, the bottom of the motor we're not gonna be touching and we're gonna leave the 583 cam that, that Mike had previously installed in it. 483. 483, I'm sorry, not 583. Um, so we're not touching anything in the bottom, just re really gonna just take off uh, the heads and the cylinders and um, yeah, so what do you think, man? A few hours, maybe six hours? Should be done in an hour. Yeah, right? <laughs> With the magic of YouTube. With the magic of YouTube, we'll be done in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, anything uh, we should know? No, I mean, uh, we'll tear it down and put it back together. Yeah, so in this kit, uh, we're gonna have the brand new heads. We're gonna have brand new cylinders, brand new pistons, uh, brand new uh, intake and manifold, um, fuel injectors, and I think, that, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everything came in the, in the kit. I already showed you guys everything laid out on there. Um, the cam, we're gonna stay with this cam just because we wanna see what type of numbers we're gonna get with the 43 and the 131 kit together. Um, and then later down the line, we're gonna be, oh, we might, I'm, we might leave it. We might, we probably might switch it up later on just to give you guys some other different options to look at. Um, yeah, I'm super eager, super happy for this. The bike gods are smiling down at me. Not at you. Can we do this now? Let's do this. You know what's gonna be the cool thing about this today is that we're gonna get our hands dirty. We're gonna be wrenching, cause I'm a wrencher. A wrencher or a rancher? I'm a, I'm a wrencher and might be a rancher one day. Good thing about this is that any of you guys at home who kind of want to do this yourself, you kind of get a little insight on how to do everything step by step. So, it's the reason why we're doing this video here and just to keep you entertained. Oh damn, I didn't wear my What's the Numbers t-shirt today because we are gonna be finding out what's the numbers. That's gonna be its own separate video, it won't be today. Hopefully we get some good numbers out of this thing. Damn bro. I put a lot of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Heads are off, cylinders are off. Um, this is waiting for Mike now, so you can remove the uh, the pistons. Um, we're also going to be changing out the oilers inside. We're going to put that SNS oilers because might as well since we, everything's already taken apart. Um, and then just we're going to replace the pistons, put the new ones on, and put the new cylinders on and the new heads, and it's not that bad. This is 
really not that crazy, Bell. It's not bad. Yeah. How many miles? Uh, over 4,000. I looked at the cylinder inside and everything looks really nice and clean as well. Not like my old one. Must have been a good tuner setting this one up. It must have been a good tuner. Just Grab the piston, in. Daddy. You know they're they're filming in a movie. Yeah. They're they're filming over here in Jersey. Mm -hmm. He's in Hackenstown. Mm. Bunch of thirst. <laughs> Dude, that was there yeah, was a bunch of oil on there. <laughs> we'll put a fucking oil. <laughs> we'll put an oily rag down there. <laughs> Yummy. They're case protectors, so you can. <laughs> what makes this? I don't know. Yeah. Right, hold on. So this is what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna butcher the name. So that's the Instagram on TV right there. And they got a lot of cool 3D printed tools. They got little rewinders for your automatic chain tensioner. So Hero Koi. Hero Koi. Something like that. And what we're using are their case bore protectors. Nice. There you go. You guys are interested in that? Old? Yeah. So versus new. While we're in here, figured they're probably okay, but Arley's Piston Jet Oilers uh, aren't nearly as bulky, and the SNS ones have a dual head spray. So more oil to the bottom of the piston, more coating the cylinder walls equals cooler temperatures and more horsepower. That's sweet. So this there was this was a little gift from me to you. Best gift ever. <laughs> Give me the oil Best water. friends that anybody can have. And we would never, ever, ever, ever. Anything people should know when you're uh, switching out these oilers? Yeah, don't, don't let them fall. Don't drop any screws in the crankcase, and don't drop the gasket in the crankcase. Yes. So these that would be a long process to take that out. These jet oilers go right here. You can see the stock one is still in place on the front cylinder. Where's it gonna? You want to place it? And so, it's gonna go oh, right, right there. Okay. So what I usually do is I'll take a couple of microfiber towels. I'll We'll throw it over the flywheel, over the hole, and then I'll tuck it behind the flywheel. So if anything is dropped, the rag will catch it. Nice. It's, it's Staten Island in the half. I came here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just come back from where? Lake George. Lake George, George, paving the roads, getting ready for America next year and all that good stuff. Had to come here to see the beautiful 131 build in action, tearing it down, building it back up. Magnificent. One <laughs> kit. Preparation. There are specs that the ring gap, uh, the specs are here from Harley saying that the first ring should be, the top compression ring, should be from 13 to 21,000, okay? What does that mean to the people who don't know, like me? So, you see this gap here? Yeah. When this goes in the cylinder, it's gonna compress. The space between here and here, they want to be between 13 and 21,000. Ah, uh, okay. okay. If it's too tight, or if it's too big, you know, it's not gonna be too big, but. So what we do is we take a ring. So we have goggles off of this? Poke eye out, kid. Take a ring. Yep. And then we take the piston. Mm -hmm. I usually leave the wrist pins on here as a stop. Bring it down nice and flush. Right. right. So, so now we've got the ring in the cylinder. That's the length you're going to be putting into? So see the gap in there? Yeah. We're going to measure that gap. If it's anywhere between 13 and 21, then we're good. And what are you using to measure? This is a feeler gauge. This is 21,000. This is your maximum that allowance. And we can't get it in there. Okay, so let's see, let's pick something in between, like 17. Pick a card, any card. 17 fits. So 13 to 21, we're in, we're in range, we're at 17, so we're gonna leave this one alone. Sweet. Okay, and then we're gonna follow the same procedure for, oh, and there is a top and bottom to these. See it says top on it, mm. that's top. Okay. Are you a top or a bottom? 
<laughs> okay, moving on to ring two. These rings all have different, um, they all have different specs on them. Try like a 20 or something? Like here's 25, I, thought, I doubt it's gonna fit. Yeah, 25 doesn't. So, yeah, 22. pick like a 22. That's all right. So we're within range with this also. Okay, oil control, we don't really, I mean, I'll look at it, but we never really do them. But these clearance, actually, these clearances are a lot more liberal than uh, SNS and the other kits. Hmm. They only give you like a few uh, numbers to work with. So usually I'm cutting the SNS rings. We have a ring cutter here that we can cut them and get them in. So, so these, we'll, we won't have to cut we them? We won't have to cut these. Oh, sweet. Okay. So moving on. This ring will go around. It's then, there's a top and a bottom ring. I surround that ring. One at the top, mm. one at the bottom, and then the oil control ring in the middle. Oh wow, okay. Is wearing a helmet part of the job? Yeah, in case I do this, you know. <laughs> Alright, so one of the things in the instructions was that it doesn't matter which piston goes in the front of the rear, right? Correct. the cylinders out. I use white paper towel to wash them out and you keep cleaning the insides until the paper towel is clean. So we are going to switch paper towels now. You can use assembly lube, you can use oil. Out of lube, man. Use a liberal amount. <laughs> Watch your hands around the bottom here. These 131s are very thin, and this is like a razor blade. Cut your hand. Okay, I get it. Okay. Watch your hands. I don't want to pinch you. Yep. Okay. What's that for? This is a tool by Jim's. It holds the cylinder and locks it in place so that we can operate the front cylinder without that lifting up on us. is tightening everything down. Now we're loosening. And now we're loosening because you gotta tighten and loosen up. All the instructions for everyone who wants to know about torque specs and everything are gonna be in instructions right there. But for the first step, we're gonna be doing what, 20 to 30 foot pounds of torque? Yeah, so we've done that. Uh, now we've loosened down 360 degrees. Now we're gonna torque to 11 foot pounds. Then we're gonna torque to 20 foot pounds and then we're going to rotate the bolts 90 degrees. So it's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, yeah. different settings. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing our 11 crisscross pattern. It is 10.23 right now. We went in late into the day. We started off late, so we stay late. Mike was kind enough to keep going today. Got a lot done. Uh, I think tomorrow is just the rocker arms and... Tops. Yeah, put the tops on and that's it. Exhaust and then um, oh, the push rods, we still got to put it up. Um, yeah, so tomorrow we will continue. We'll start it up. Um, then the dyno video, that, that'll be its own video. That'll be later on on a separate day. 
And then we're gonna be having the first ride impression of the 131 on the Lowrider ST. Let me know what you guys think so far. Some people think that this is way overkill. Some people think that it's not worth it at all. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. I think, why not? You know? This thing's gonna be a beast. This bike was, it, it, it was a beast before, even with the stage two, it was more than enough, but why not? Torque and torque. Torquing together. <laughs> Torqued out, bro. We're torqued the fuck out. All right, it is the uh, next morning. Um, and this guy kind of, it, it, it kind of feels like he slept here. Um, taps are on. Just finishing the last few little touches. Uh, we'll probably just throw the air cleaner on here, the exhaust, and um, turn her on, man. Turn her on. Turn her on. So this kit also comes with a bigger throttle body. Um, manifold, so got the 64 millimeter on here. We got bigger fuel injectors. Boom! All right, uh, just finish off. Um, Super excited, we haven't turned the bike on yet. We're gonna be turning it on right now so you guys can see our, well, my facial expression, I'm super excited. Um, but a few key points you guys should know. Um, obviously, the 131 kit from Harley Davidson, Screaming Eagle. We did keep the cam, like I said before, the 483 Psychorama cam is still in there. We're gonna see what type of numbers we get with that. Later on, we'll transition to something else just to play around and get you guys some more information. We also did, keep the solid push rods that we have from fueling when we did a stage two. That's the win there. So That's as per Harley Davidson. Yeah, and that, that's as per Harley Davidson because uh, it's the same stack height um, mm -hmm. from stock, right? Yeah. Um, what we did have, obviously, new cylinders, new pistons, new heads, new, uh, what, what else? Uh, throttle body, 64 millimeter. Um, injectors. Injectors. There, it came to, uh, the whole kit came with uh, 5.5s. I thought it were gonna be bigger injectors, but I mean, we can even play around with it later on. Yeah, once we put ones. on the dyno and check the duty cycle on them, we're gonna see how it is. I thought you were gonna do something. <laughs> no, I'm just waiting for you to finish your job, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here thinking that you're gonna do something. I'm like, oh, here it is. Hey, what are you doing on the toolbox? I guess my shirt edge is better than his shirt edge. Ah. This is shorter for what I need right now. Um, and don't forget, you installed the 131 cam cover. We did install oh, the 131. Oh, sorry. It's not even a cam cover. It's just the it's medallion. <laughs> it is a medallion. Um, everything else is still the same. First start, this is what we're going to do. There's going to be a separate video for the dyno tuning. Uh, so tune in for that maybe next week or so. Then the first ride review and a few other stuff. So anything you guys need to know or want to know about this 131 kit setup, drop your thoughts and your questions down below. If you are intrigued and you do want to get some work done like this, obviously stop by, call up Mike. Uh, all the information is down below in the inbox. There's a few guys already who kind of already saw that we're doing this and they're already calling up and we're going to be having a lot of people do 131s now. So that's it. Let's, um, any, anything else? Fire it up. Let's fire it up. Yes. I don't know which angle should we use.
close for a celebration. There you have it. Um, sounds amazing. I'm a lost words. It, it, it sounds really, really, really nice. Nice thump. Nice gallop. I'm a lost for words. Thank you, Mike. That's gonna be it, guys. Like always, I'm the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. So what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, we need to start the video. <laughs>